How to cook the perfect steak. And the steak I favour is this lovely rump steak. You know, you've got your filet, you know, your filet mignon. I wouldn't give you tuppence for it. It's too lean for me, too overrated. You know, I don't rate it at all. Uh, your sirloin, it's nice, you know, for a special occasion, but me, my go-to every time is rump. And this is a piece, fantastic piece, of scotch rump steak. Fantastic looking thing. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to easily pan fry it. So I've just shot my knife, fantastic. People ask me about my knives, that's a Vitronox steak knife, 12 inch. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut off one nice thick steak. Now, I've got this out of the fridge 20 minutes before I'm gonna fry it. Have a look at that. Just have a look how good that looks. That is gonna taste amazing. So like I said, I've brought it up to heat, you know, cause if you put it in the pan cold, you'll see all the outsides and it just won't cook evenly, you know, inside. Look at that. So I'm gonna get the pan set up, get some oil in, and I'm gonna show you how to nail this beauty. Easy, simple as, the perfect steak. Right, as you can see, I cut that lovely, lovely rump. I mean, I would have preferred a bit more fat, but not a problem, it's a good piece of meat. So what we're gonna do, get our pan on. Now the trick with this, like cooking fish, as I've said, that pan has gotta be smoking hot. You know, it's a non-stick pan, and I get quite a few comments, oh, you shouldn't take a non-stick pan up to that heat, smoking, it's bad for your health. You know, I've been on to DuPont, who make these t file pans, and there is absolutely no danger to health. You know, it's not gonna hurt you, it's not poisonous, and it's definitely not going to kill you, like some people say. Hey ho, so what we're gonna do, we want plenty of heat in that pan, and when that gets smoking, we're gonna add a little bit of oil. Right. That pan is just starting to smoke slightly, so I add a bit of oil to my steak. Both sides, another little bit, I've got some olive oil. Just massage it in a little bit. When you've got that, just wash my hands. We will crank on quite a bit of pepper. And season with some sea salt. Season it well, because some of that will come off in the cooking. Do that side as well. And what we're trying to get is a real nice sear. Sear all those juices in, get a nice caramelization. And what's left, you can just press it and that's ready to go. You do that just before you're cooking it though because putting the salt on will actually draw out the moisture. I'm just going to put a little touch in there as you can see, just a little bit. See that's smoking nicely now, that's ready to go. What we're going to do is get our lovely rump steak, put it in. And that's the sound you want to hear, that's the sound of you searing the steak. If you don't have that sound, what you'll do, you'll start to just steam it and it'll be grey. You know, you won't get that lovely colour on that lovely caramelisation. So what we do, put that in, we don't touch it. We don't prick it with a fork, we don't pick it up with a knife or a fork, because again, you'll let all those lovely juices out. You just leave it on two or three minutes, that side, and then we'll turn it over. See, that's cooking nicely in there, press it down. So it's all got a nice contact with that pan. Fantastic. Okay, that's been two or three minutes, you just check it. And that's what you want. That lovely colour, that caramelisation. So just flip it over, put it back in. We'll do the same on that side then. Okay, it's been three minutes on that side. You can see lovely and caramelised. So what I like to do, drop some butter in. Now I like my steak rare to medium rare. I mean, if you want your steak well done, that's up to you. That's all I can say on that. That's the only views I've got, which are clean enough. What I'm going to do is just baste that steak lovely. All that lovely butter. 
You know, steak shouldn't be cooked well done. You know, save that for someone else. This should be lovely, juicy, succulent. And as you can see, that butter on. Fantastic. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the pan off, turn the heat off, and we're going to rest that now for five to ten minutes. I'll take that off. Get myself some foil. Pick it up. Fantastic. Just cover that with foil. And these juices in this pan are absolutely fantastic. You've almost got like an instant sauce to put over. So my steak has been a five minutes resting. Let's have a look at it. All those lovely juices and put it in the pan. So what we got, obviously this bean rump. You know, look at that. Just have a look at that. That spot on to me. Let's give it a try. Oh amazing. That's how you want it. Mm. So that, to me, is the perfect steak. And it just needs two accompaniments. Some nice horseradish. And my favourite beer, the beer of choice. A good English brew bass. In the glass. What more could you ask? Just look at that. Give it a dip in. Gorgeous. Just cut through. Horse radish. Give this a go. I'll tell you what, I could eat that all day. Thanks for watching.